The views and opinions expressed by the participants on this show are not necessarily those of Stewart Information Services Corporation, Stewart Title, or Stewart Insurance. Before you make any investment, you should seek the advice of your investment advisor or attorney. Whether you're a real estate broker, realtor, homeowner, buyer, or seller, everything matters when it comes to real estate. This is Real Estate Matters with Store Title. Store Title's Bill Napick and guests open the door to what really matters in owning, buying, and selling real estate. And now, Real Estate Matters with Store Title, brought to you by Stuart Insurance. Here to inform, entertain, and inspire, Bill Napick. Welcome to the show. It is Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title. I am your host, Bill Napick. Thank you for joining us today. We're very excited to be here, and we have super guests and some surprises along the way. I am your host, Bill Nampick, and also, I say this almost every show, and that is go to stewart.com forward slash radio. That's right. That's where you can not only hear the show, but you can see it and access our show archives by going to stewart.com forward slash radio. So let's get down to business as we talk money with Rob Linder, his company, is Revolution Mortgage. Hey, Rob, welcome to the show. Bill, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here for all you folks out there in the internet and radio. What's up? I'm Rob. He is Rob, and he is Rob Linder, L-I-N-D-E-R. But if you need a lender, you can just call Rob Linder. If you need a lender, call Rob Linder. So, Rob, let's tell people, first of all, Revolution Mortgage, easy name to remember. Let's tell people about your company. Well, Revolution Mortgage is um, a pretty standard mortgage company. We operate mostly in the residential mortgage space. Folks that want to purchase a home or an investment property, we love to give them financing and we do it in an easy and palatable way. You know, we're real people working with real people, Bill. As far as the interest rate right now, of course, they've been going up steadily, it seems like, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And as you, uh, I would assume your company has meetings and you think about the future and you project and speculate, what are, what are you thinking about here at this point in August as we look forward to the rest of the year? What are you all talking about? Where do you think it's going to go? Just guessing, of course. Oh, man. It would be a guess. For all of you listening, it, this is 100% a guess, okay? Uh, we are worried about inflation. The entire country is worried about inflation. So the uh, inflation gets under control, rates go down. So every single week, we are watching these numbers for inflation and jobless claims to see if we can get those numbers under control. Those numbers get under control, rates go down. We're hoping by the end of next year, we're going to see rates drop from the 65 7% range back into the fives. Man, wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice. And in the meantime, though, you're still serving and helping people that are have to buy homes and, and want to buy homes. Oh, 100%. You know, buying a home is still a great investment, regardless of the interest rate today. You know, it's not like homes are going to start dipping in value anytime soon. Uh, Bill, I don't know if you've been in the state of Texas long, but people love living here so much so that they're moving here in droves. It's a good problem to have. Well, they're and, still moving, you're finding. Huh, yes, they're still moving here. Um, you know, it makes it tough for our first time home buyers here that want to buy a house locally because there's so much competition for homes. So I tell my clients the same thing I would tell anybody that's listening out there. If you find a home that you love and you can afford it today, buy it today. You can always refinance it later and you can count on that thing appreciating in value in most cases. But the home that you purchase or that you pass on today is not gonna be worth the same amount in five years if you're ready. It's gonna cost more, I guarantee it. So. In effect, we just need to work with the interest rate and accept it and then refinance later. That's not that big a deal. It's not that big of a deal. You know, I talked to my parents. Bill, I turned 40 this year. I know you can't tell because I moisturize a lot. But I turned 40 this year, and I told my parents that the interest rate was 7% the other day, and they laughed because their first home that they purchased back in the 80s, they thought they were getting a steal at 14%. You're kind of reading my mind because, I, you know, really – 7%, 6.9, that's not really that bad of an interest rate when you consider historically where rates have been. And it was really, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't study rates, but it was just for a short blip in time that they were in the two, three-ish range. I mean, you study it more than I do, right? It just felt like a couple months. It went by really quickly. 
and we're right back. People remember it, though. (laughs) Oh, man. So if this is your first time looking at the market and purchasing a home, and you have a friend that got a 3% interest rate, you know, no doubt about it, it's a tough pill to swallow if the rate's a little bit higher. But, um, Bill, can you answer a quick question for me? What's the interest rate on renting? Well, see, that's probably 100%. 100%, folks. See that? I got got an A for that one, right? Piece of cake. So in the meantime, so you're helping people right now. We wait for rates to go wherever they go, but we have to buy now and do whatever life uh, events take place. So in the meantime, first-time buyers, is it more, are they having more, I would think they're not having as big a problem with the interest rates as maybe someone that's been around for a while. No, because this is all they know. Because it's all they know, right? Yeah, it's all they know. How often out of, let's say, the last 10 or 20 people you've had, how many of them have been the first-time home buyers? Oh, man, I would say probably 45% or more. 45? Mm-hmm, are first-time home buyers. Now, one of the things to be successful as a real estate professional, whether it's a realtor, title representative, or lender, as far as marketing, there are a lot, there's a lot of – it's a great city. There's a lot of competition in here, here in Houston, Texas. How do you differentiate yourself, or how do you – make people know, other than being on the radio here today, about Rob Linder with Revolution Mortgage. What do you do? It's the people that we work with that matter the most. Okay, Bill, uh, we work in a people business. It may seem like we're in the real estate business, but really we're in the people business. Um, We don't lose track of our folks that we work with, especially our clients. We don't want them to think that they're just a number uh, or just meet for the machine. They're not just someone that goes into a system that gets passed off to a bunch of different departments. What we want to do is we want to watch someone's life get changed through real estate. The way we can do that is by offering them some money uh, with a, a service forward attitude. You know, I've got a team of people that work with me. They're the backbone of the operation. Everybody loves them. So anytime that we do business with somebody, we want to make sure that whenever they walk away, this felt really palatable and even kind of fun to make their first time home buying experience or second time buying a home or buying an investment property easy. And that's what we do because we do a lot of hard work up front for them and it's smooth sailing once they get under contract on their home. And as you mentioned, you're doing a lot here lately with the first time home buyer and you just mentioned investors. What about investors out there? So the investors, you know, they're an interesting bunch because investors are a savvy group. Okay. If they're first time investors, man, there's a little bit of anxiety around purchasing an asset that they're not going to live in, that they're potentially going to rent out for, um, you know, tenants or uh, commercial reasons. But for savvy investors, they know that real estate's a good investment. Uh, As long as they can get the numbers to work and we help them do that by crunching it for them, then they'll make an offer on a home and get financing. And then uh, hopefully, you know, find another way to uh, generate cash flow every month. One of the things I think about as far as all the nuances and choices that someone would have in terms of all the loan types, Mm -hmm. how do you determine that or how do you help your person that's buying a family, let's say, or even an individual, how do you help them determine, because they may not know, even someone that's bought a home before, what's the right loan for my situation? How do you come to that determination and help them that way? So if you recall earlier, we said, or I said that we are in the people business and we really are. And that comes to just asking the right questions to the clients. You know, some clients are very, very sensitive to their monthly payment, and this is how they're going to make a decision on a home. Other clients are very sensitive to the area. For example, let's say you have high school age kids and you want to keep them in the same school district. Then the monthly payment may not be the most important part. It may be the geographic area. Some folks are super rate sensitive. Others, you know, you just have to ask the right questions up front to get to the point of where, you know, what do they feel comfortable with and unpacking what they need. So we just try to find what their needs are and, um, if we can help them out with that, sometimes they don't even know what their needs are because they're... Well, you walk them through it, right? Well, yeah. So, right. And so you figure out figure it out that way. Also, when you see the last 10 people that, from the loan standpoint that you've provided, what are the down payments that you're seeing the, the most? 20%? For some reason, I think 20%. But what do you see as you've helped people here recently? That's, that's a great question. For the most part, Folks want to get into a home for as little money as possible. So the last several loans that I've done have been 3%, 3 3.5%, or 5% as a down payment. The only time someone goes for a 20% down payment that I've seen is if they are moving into um, 
an, another home, which means they've cashed out equity from their first home. They have a sizable chunk of money that they can kind of put down, and that's when they go with 20%. Pretty much everybody else is holding on to the money that they have. They want to keep that cash for oh. a rainy day or for oh, whatever yeah. else. Why not? <laughs> that's interesting. So as far as the other things that someone would need to know that sometimes you find out after dealing with 10 people or so that they don't know, what, what's something that someone should be prepared for that you find that they don't aren't really ready for if they're out there listening? Oh, a couple of things. Well, one, you, if you find a home that you like, you can't sit on the sidelines for too long because I guarantee you someone else is going to like it too. So you need to make it Even offer. right now in the market Even conditions. Even right now. Especially here in Houston, I Especially think. Especially here in Houston. The other thing is, you know, we live in a coastal area. Some folks are a little shocked whenever they get the uh, the sticker price on homeowner's insurance and those types of policies. Other than that, people uh, just keeping up with the markets and what the interest rates are doing, that's a question I get all the time. Of course, they should be pre-approved before they go looking at homes. Absolutely. And it doesn't take that long, Bill. Just go to my website. We'll knock it out for you real quick. It's that easy. Rob, let's tell people, Rob Linder with Revolution Mortgage, let's tell people how they can reach you. Well, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Rob Linder, the lender, or you can go to revolutionmortgage.com slash rlinder to see my smiling face on my website where you can apply online to do a home loan. And the phone number is? 832-274-2640. 832-274-2640. Thank you so much, Rob Linder. As we continue, let's talk to Miriam Hajazi. She is with Douglas Elliman right here in Houston, Texas. Miriam, welcome to the show. Hi there. Thank you so much for having me. What an honor. What a treat. Well, we're excited because in some circles, we know that you are called Marvelous Miriam. Indeed, yes. What a name. That's awesome. I I know. You know, the uh, the nickname was born about a, about a decade ago when I used to be in public education. I noticed that my students were able to find me on social media, so I rebranded myself, and it has always stuck. So marvelous, Miriam, it is. And right now, as people listen, they may be in their cars, on their computer, listening on the phone. I bet it, it is sticking right now in a marvelous way. Uh, Just well, saying. Well, I certainly hope so. Well, let's tell people, your, your company is Douglas Elliman. Let's tell people a little bit about Douglas Elliman right here in Houston. So Douglas Elliman hasn't been in Houston a super long time, but they have been around since 1911, which I love. I love to see the longevity. If you think about all of the world events that have taken place since 1911, and this brokerage has withstood the test of time, it's quite a testament to what we offer and how we're managed and how we carry the company. Um, it's just, it's yep. such an honor to be a part of a truly a worldwide brokerage. We have 487 offices, over 53 countries, and nearly 20,000 agents worldwide. That's amazing. And now thinking about 1911, I mean, that's over 100 years ago. So that is fascinating. Give us an idea of what Right now, as Douglas Elliman, big company, you're out there and you are projecting for the rest of the year. What are the things that your company's talking about when you all have meetings and certainly all the other offices? What What's the outlook, so to speak, or the, the guesswork that, that you're thinking about? Hey, what are we going to expect here between now, the end of the year? Well, we always like to preface this question in this business, whether you're a realtor, a lender, you're entitled. We None of us have a crystal ball, so we do like to put that, that out in the front. But we're, we're seeing interest rates probably stagnating. They're staying about the same through the rest of the year. Now, that affects different sections of the market differently. The luxury portion of the, the market, sometimes it matters less to them. Sometimes it matters more to them. It just depends on their financial picture. And since we are really a luxury brokerage, you know, our average price points are about, are over a million. Um, it just depends on how these clients are structured. So we actually saw an uptick in luxury sales over the last 30 days, which was really interesting and surprising. Um, you know, things are that moving. That is interesting and surprising. Uh, yes. It's hitting me both ways. <laughs> 
And when you say that, again, we're going back to your uh-huh. reference point, over a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Right. So, I mean, if you just the way that you structure how you're paying for the property, if it's cash, then, you know, interest rates don't apply to you. And maybe you can get a better price on a listing that sat a little bit longer. But if you're financing a portion of that million or over million dollar sales point, you may have to drop the price. You may not. The million dollar price point. Now, also for those listening and they may say, hey, I want to call Miriam and get in and have benefit of her experience. Now you're helping people under a million as well, I'm going to presume. Absolutely. Yes, there are. There are a lot of houses in Houston listed under a million dollars. Um, you know, we we're still such an affordable city, which is a breath of fresh air. Um, I think our prices are catching up with the rest of large metropolitan areas. What we bring to the table at Douglas Elliman specifically is just a high level sophistication. We have the coolest systems. We can crunch numbers in a way that I haven't seen before in my 10 and a half years in the business. And what I specifically help my clients with is, you know, this business is so emotional and it's such an emotional roller coaster when you're a buyer and when you're a seller. And actually, for even when you're a landlord or a tenant, you know, so it's it's important as a landlord to fill your houses with great tenants. And as a tenant, it's so important to have the right timeline. And then as a seller, did you price it right? Did you not? You know, are we getting feedback? And then buyers, you know, sometimes I'm able to write really competitive offers, but I just got people under contract on Friday evening and we had to go almost 5% over list price. And we were a, we were a cash deal and it still took over 24 hours for the listing agent to give us a response. So we were on pins and needles just on Friday, you know, so even in a quote, down market, I'm still having to contend with multiple offers. And for this particular client, this was probably the fifth offer that we've put in. And it's the fifth time's the charm, at least on this one, you know. So things move at different paces depending on price, condition, and location. As you rec- as you mentioned that, what it makes me think of is the excitement in the room. One of the reasons why all of us are Maybe one of the reasons why some of us are in the real estate profession is the excitement, the drama that you mentioned, the the fact that each transaction, and whether it's residential or, or beyond, but let's just take residential, each transaction is different and each has its own cast of characters, Miriam. It could not be more true. Every deal brings its own set of challenges. There is truly no deal that is like the last um you know you can sell a similar product so we we call our houses our product so you know if you sell a lot of 1955 to 58 ranch style houses which there are plenty of those here in houston those come with their own set of protocols if you sell a lot of new development that comes with its own uh, policies and procedures you know you need to get a phase inspection dependent upon when you put it under contract Um, You know, if you really love historic properties and you have a lot of clients that, you know, come to you with true mid-century modern properties or maybe it's a Victorian or maybe it's a 1915 to 1936 bungalow closer to downtown, uh, each house needs its own little set of, um, of procedures, you know, so we get hydrostatic tests on older houses with plumbing in the slab typically so i have a hydrostatic test tomorrow um you know if it's if it's a bungalow a termite inspection would be very important in addition to the complexity of the deal and the emotional roller coaster also the agents and the title company brings their own personality to the transaction as well so as a buyer's agent or as a listing agent I'm always trying to figure out what's the best way to interact with the other agent in order to make sure that we get the deal done the right way and we expedite it for both of our clients. Because once we come together on a contract, we're really, are, everyone has the same common goal. And we always need to keep that in mind because, again, this is a very emotional roller coaster business. So lenders get some of that. 
Buyers agents get a lot of that. You know, sometimes a lender might get a call from an, a listing agent that hasn't gotten the right amount of updates. So um, it's just you have to you have to just hear it all and respond to it all. Um, so there's plenty of emotion to go around. <laughs> More than enough to go around. And, you know, sometimes you get a really calm, collected deal and everyone in the all parties are just very experienced, very chill. Uh, you know, every so often I just get one that's just that's okay. so calm and it's wonderful. Yes. So give us an idea as you were mm -hmm. out there just for the last, again, 10, 20 last transactions that you've had how many mm -hmm. have you served buyers versus sellers so 50 -50 i or? i am i've been more listing heavy for the last two years so i had a buyer up in the woodlands and actually going back to multiple offers uh we lost out we lost probably three different times at the million dollar price point cash Buyers are really what I cut my teeth on in the beginning of this business over 10 years ago. So I love my buyers and I love my listings, but right now I'm mostly listing heavy. Um, but I do, I did get a set of buyers under contract on Friday after again, five different offers that we lost on. Well, you mentioned the Woodlands. Mm -hmm. Give us an idea. Do you approach your work geographically? I mean, what are the areas that you're working the most geographically here in Houston? So I live in the Loop and I love to work in the Loop. However, I grew up in Tomball, Texas. So a lot of my business is in that 249 to 45 arc or even 290 to 45 arc. You know, Montgomery County, uh, very far north, Harris County, Cyprus, um, even even the rare the rare buyer or listing out in Waller um, or in the Woodlands. So I am referral based. And so when my people say that they need to go and buy a house in the Woodlands, then my team and I are going to the Woodlands. Um, if it's very far, then we will refer out to an agent that's highly qualified in that area and just keep tabs until they're, they make it to the finish line or the closing table. So you have a good knowledge of all the, most of the areas here in mm -hmm. Houston, Texas. I do because I've been loving Houston since 1987. And before that, my parents were here. And before that, my grandparents were here. So I am a true native Houstonian. And, you know, this is now the third largest city in America. And it's so expansive. And all these different pockets of town have like a different life and a different personality. And it's important that, you know, people find their match and where they they're happiest. So if they if, if they want to be in Katy, then we're taking them to Katy. But if they want to be by Memorial Park, then we're happy to put them by Memorial Park. We're talking with Miriam Hajazi with Douglas Elliman. Miriam, before we close this segment, what else do you want people to know? Well, you can find me on Instagram at Marv Sells Houston or on my website at MarvelousInHouston.com or you can give me a call or a text. I am an unsolicited, an endless unsolicited source of advice and opinions. Uh, my cell phone is 832-465-6458. 832-465-6458. Marvelous, Mariam. <laughs> Miriam, thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Well, it's always exciting to welcome someone that's just joined the Stewart team. We have today Jana McGuire. She's just joining us in the Clear Lake area. Jana, welcome to the show. Yes, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm going to um, say a double welcome. Welcome to the company and to the yes, radio show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's tell people Clear Lake. That's going to be your, the office you're covering is Clear Lake, Texas. Let's tell people about what you're going to be doing down there in Clear Lake. Yeah, so I'm Clear Lake office at Stewart Title, and I am the business development officer over there. So I am out there looking um, to bring, help your business grow and help you get title insurance on your your homes that you're closing and. Well, also, as far as Stewart Title, you know you're joining a company that we mentioned uh, a company earlier. We're we're going to be 130 years old right. in October. So that's one of the Super great exciting. things. It's very exciting. So when people close with Stewart, 
if and when there is a problem, it usually doesn't show up till down the road. So the nice thing about Stuart Title is that we're going to be there should something go wrong or you need us down the road after you after you close with us. So Absolutely. That's, that's a super thing. And a, that and a, is and a, a great thing. A super We'll always be there. We're going to be there. But give us an idea. How did you find Stuart Title, by the way? Or how did we find you? Yeah. So I um, was actually doing sponsors, help being a sponsor for Stuart Title and uh, different job roles that I had previously with a roofing company and a home warranty company. And I grew friends with the Stuart Title girls, and they reached out to me when there was a position open, and I loved that opportunity, so I took it. That's kind of how it's I got on board, It's a great company, great people. Yes. <laughs> and I'll let the word go forth. It's good to be friends with someone from Stuart Title that's right, right there. That's that's a no-brainer. That's so, right. So give us a word on the roofing company because roofing is such a big thing when it comes to homes, in, even in the insurance world. That's the first mm-hmm. question they ask. How oh, old yeah. is the roof and all that? That's so you, right. You, you know a little bit about roofing. Let's, yeah. let's tell people about so, that. So AO1 Roofing is in the... LaPorte, Deer Park, Pasadena area, but they go anywhere and everywhere. They do commercial and residential roofs. Well, as yeah. far as as far as roofing goes and, and in terms of key business indicators, how's the roofing business right, right now? Because you, you have a relative in there who was Right. There? Well, there was um, Deer Park. It got hit with a tornado. So they're busy. So it's very busy, um, especially with insurance companies. Um, but they did... You know, it's slowing down a little bit. A lot right. of roofs got taken care of already. I want to make sure just because it's not raining doesn't mean that leak's not there. Well, we need some rain. There's no question That's about right. that. That's right. We need rain really bad. As far as this role in your in your career now, here you are at the title company, at Stewart mm-hmm. Title, no less. The, right. The, the, an international company. A lot of people don't know that. We've been around, yes, 130 years. International company traded on the New York Stock Exchange. But give us an idea. One of the things that you anticipate being in the title world as far as what you're going to love about it or what mm-hmm. you already love about it in the first couple of weeks. I know. I love the people I work with. That's a, that's a good one right there because it... That's a big thing. It's a big deal when you like who you, who you work with and you trust them. Um, I'm... I love getting to meet people and building relationships, and I love getting to know them, um, helping them, and help build your and grow your business. Well, certainly, and also Clear Lake is a, a very diverse part of the Houston area in terms right. of the type of real estate you can buy. You can be near the water. You can go to Galveston. So it's it's going to be right. interesting the, the the transactions that you're going to be a part of. You and the team right there, Stuart Title Clear Lake. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's a big area to cover, and we cover all of it. Well, once again, Jana, I'm going to give you the double welcome again. Well, welcome to the team. Yay. Welcome to the radio show. <laughs> and let's tell people how they can reach out to you because they're they're right there. They're driving around or they're sitting by the computer saying, "Yeah, I think I want to bring my transaction to Jana McGuire." Yes, how sir. Can they reach you? So they can reach me on my phone number at eight three two two four four. 3439 or if they like to email me it's Jana j-a-n-a at stewart.com and the number again is 832-244-3439 you'll be doing things ce classes and the and all the things Correct. that our Stuart title business development people do right and you may not have heard the show before, but I say it a million times. Stay close to your Stuart Title Business Development Officer because there That's are, right. you're going to be a resource for all the real estate professionals out there right. in your area. Jana, thank you for being with us. Thank and you for having me. of Stuart Title Business Development Officers, there's not one Jana McGuire. There are three business development officers here, maybe four. I don't know where Jen is. Oh, there she is. There's even four. So here comes Rachel Saunders. Thank you, Jana. Thank you for having me. Rachel Saunders, here you are again. You brought Rob and Jana. We're yes. excited about Jana, aren't we? Yes, I'm so excited about Jana. She is a great addition to Stuart and our team. And our team is is 
I think, better than ever to serve the buyers, the sellers, and also the real estate professionals out there, Rachel, as we go forth. Absolutely. We're all here together to help make dreams come true. Well, let's tell people, in case they haven't heard you before, the piece of the area that you're, the piece of Houston, Texas, that you're serving the real estate professionals. So I service the Friendswood, Alvin um, areas, as well as the uh, South Houston, Deer Park, Pasadena, and uh, a little bit of LaPorte. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, our areas all kind of intertwine, so that's why we work so well together. We're able to help cross-market with each other and tag team and help as many as we can help. That's right. We do have a, a nice, harmonious working activities th- that are going on with all our business development people. Yes. It works in, in a very... I don't know where I'm getting all these words, wonderful tapestry, but I'm going to stop right there. So in the meantime, get, as, as you're familiar with all the activities down there, give us an idea of the market conditions. Um, well, you know, I still think the market's booming. It has slowed down just a little bit like the whole area has um, with, you know, interest rates and everything else, buying power. Um, but there, there's amazing homes to be bought, and it's just a matter of sharing the knowledge of ways that they can still be a homeowner. So, I mean, we're out there helping a ton of realtors. We're staying very busy still in our offices, helping them close. And as I said, I say stay close to your Stewart Title Business Development Officer because you're doing like CE classes. Do you have any events that you might want to bring forth here today that are um, coming up? We have a, a quite a few events. We have a couple uh, events coming up, like Ask we have a couple Ask the Lender events. Um, <laughs> you're looking at your pen. Uh, we have a, uh, a lot of CE classes that we're going to be scheduling and getting out before uh, the year is up so they can get their education in order. Um, and just we're going to have a lot of events regarding knowledge of what's going on and how to get creative in their marketing. We're all here to help them grow their business. So we have a lot of great tools, all of us at all of our offices, that can help them grow and expand their reach. And one of the things that people may or may not know, but it, it manifests itself in a, in a tremendous way in terms of being a resource, is that as we have our own sales meetings once a month, mm-hmm. we trade ideas, and, and it yes. is not uncommon for those meetings to bring forth super things that help the real estate professional Absolutely. as we share ideas. Yes, brainstorming is amazing. We have to think outside the box. Well, Rachel, let's tell people how they can reach you when they want to bring their transaction to your offices and or when they want to be a part of your activities. Absolutely. Well, they can reach me at uh, 832-418-4778 or shoot me an email at rachel.saunders at stewart.com. I am also on Facebook under Rachel Saunders. I know there's a lot, but you'll know me when you see me. Rachel Saunders. Thank you for being with us, Rachel. The phone number one more time is? 832-418-4778. Rachel Saunders. And now Juliana Bareford is right here. Juliana, welcome to the show. Hi, Bill. Thank here you. Here we are again. Here we are. We have Juliana, Jana, Jenna. I mean, a lot of, a lot of things going on here. A lot of J's. <laughs> a lot of J's. Miriam, Hajazi. There's a J in there and everything, right? <laughs> yes, there is. So they call her Marvelous Miriam, by the way. They you do. Know? So let's tell people, there you are, Kirby Grove, doing tremendous work all the time, which for those outside of Houston, that's in the center of the Houston universe, right there <laughs> inside the, the big loop, right? Yes, it is. So how's, how's things at, at our office there? It's good. Um, we're, uh, things are picking up. We have a lot of fun events coming, um, some CE classes. I've got Legal 1 and Legal 2. Probably my favorite event that we do the um, every year is the bus trip to the Nutcracker Market, so that's coming up in November. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. I hope it's going to be cooler. <laughs> I, you, you never know, but we're already starting to plan for that. The Nutcracker is coming up, and November will be here soon. It will. It so you're will. putting the, the things together on that. I am, yes. And um, we're going to be a Toys for Tot donation center again this year. And then I think we're looking at doing some type of like Christmas mini photo sessions where you can either bring your family or your dogs, which you know that's what I will well, do. We want to bring some dogs. I <laughs> might even bring Elvis for that. See, you should. I will check on that. So in the meantime, what else should we know in your area Julie well, Anna actually, Barefoot. we have at Sanford Real is celebrating. Real, she's, she's the real one, deal. She is the real deal. Um, she is our, one of our ESCO officers, and today is her 20th anniversary with Stuart Title. Well, Sanford, congratulations from all of us here on the radio show and Stuart Title, 20 years. She, You talk about our escrow officers have tremendous experience. Sanford has a lot of experience. You talk about all the different transactions. I know she has experience in commercial, right. residential, and she just knows all about it. She sure does. Yeah, she's great to work with. So. And the office is led by? 
Lauren Reed, our branch manager. She's I, got been... to, I got to see Lauren there a couple weeks ago, actually. Did you? Good. Yeah. I get to see her every day. <laughs> well, how about that? Hey, Lauren, if you're listening, super work you're doing there, leading the office. And Juliana, if someone wants to reach out to you, what should they do? They can email me at juliana.bearford at stewart.com or call me at 832-296-7666. Again, 832-296-7666. Thank you for being with us. And now, Jennifer Bradley, Jennifer, Jana, Juliana, and Jennifer. Here you are. Jennifer, it's awesome to see you. Hi, Bill. So Thanks let's for tell, having us back. Well, here you are. And it was a surprise to see you today, but we love surprises on this show. Let's tell people the area that you cover for the company. I'm in the League City and Texas City offices. So kind of. That's two offices, right? Yes, right. I mean, pretty dab smack in the middle of Galveston and Houston. So that's right. So if you were League City, but isn't Galveston south of League City? Yes. Okay. So is. then after Galveston, we don't have any ocean platform offices. So <laughs> we, after we we we're almost there, we got to Galveston. <laughs> we're going to be hearing from that from them in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, yeah, you're covering the the almost the furthest southern point. Almost. Almost there. How's business down there? It's not too bad. It's been pretty good. A little well, slower, but... Well, also, you're doing activities there as well. Do you have anything coming up that we should know about? We are, since Stuart is turning 130, we are trying to... Yes. 130. And we don't look a day over 90. I know. Can you imagine? I was thinking the same thing. Yes. So we're turning 130, and we want to do, do something special for our clients and our affiliates. Well, we're thinking of that in the meantime, and you're putting those plans together. Jennifer Bradley, what else should we know about your area? Just come, stop by. Come see us. And Reach num- out. And the number is? It's 281-221-1508. So there you are, listeners. You've heard some of the steward, a whole bunch of our steward associates right here. You can get an idea. Super people, competent. You guys know what you're doing. And the escrow officers are seasoned. They know exactly what's going on. We have longevity like I don't think any other company, right? We do. And one of them is your mom. One of them is my mom. Harriet Dews. How many years have you been with the company? 35, I think. I think 35. Jennifer Bradley. The number again is? 281-221-1508. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Bill. In today's litigious society, it is imperative to have the proper insurance to offset the many risks facing your business, especially if you're a real estate broker. Your errors and omissions and cyber liability insurance can help limit the threat of these risks if you know what to look for. Not sure if your insurance addresses the risks facing your business. Contact Stewart Insurance to be confident your brokerage can withstand these risks. Stewart Insurance, 866-798-2827. Stewart Insurance. Insurance.com. That's stewartinsurance.com or call 866-798-2827. Real Estate Matters with Stewart Title would not be possible without our partner, Stewart Insurance, with a focus in real estate and a special focus on real estate brokers. Stewart Insurance creates insurance plans to address the risks facing our industry today. They invest a significant amount of time helping real estate broker owners offset and manage their risks. Here he is once again, John Bramlett with Stewart Insurance. John, welcome to the show. Always a pleasure, Bill. Here we are, marching our way to show number 500. My calculations, I don't have it in front of me, but I'm going to guess the first Monday in November is our 500th show. I've done the calculations as well, and I yeah. don't have it in front of me either, but I think you're right. We're getting close. We're, we're, we're getting close. See? We're, we're in the neighborhood. We're in the neighborhood. That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of shows. And we're excited about that. And here you are. We're excited. Once again, insurance is always, uh, it's become the city's favorite topic. I'm hearing insurance. One of the reasons is your segment every week. Well, I think it is the reason, Bill, but um, I appreciate that. That's what the researchers are saying. That's what the researchers have said, yes, yes. Well, here we are. What insurance words of wisdom do you have for us today? Well, a little bit of a um, warning. Uh Uh-oh. A little bit of a warning for our friends in the real estate world that we're seeing a trend ongoing that's that's quite scary Mm -hmm. and we've seen uh there was a great article regarding this topic in the july issue of texas realtor um that we're starting to see uh especially in the last nine months a significant increase in fraudulent sellers 
So I wanted to talk a little bit about what that is, um, how we can rectify it, you know, how we can recognize it, uh, what can be done, and some of the repercussions if we, if, if we, you know, if something does does happen. So what, in a sense, what a criminal is doing, what the bad actor is doing, is they're acting like the property owner, even though they're not. How can they even do that? That's the question. So what they do is, uh, let's say you've got a piece of property bill. Mm. So they will come and say, whoever they are, my name is John Smith, and I and I have this property at 123 Avenue J in Richmond, Texas, and I want to sell it. So they come to me, the realtor. They come to you, the the, the buyer's agent, the and seller's I'm ha- agent. And I'm, I'm excited You're about excited. a potential listing. I'm so guessing. so I've got so I've got a listing, and now I'm going to be able to make some money. But there are a couple of things that you'll see when we talk about this. They're going to target um, vacant property. They're going to target uh, vacation or investment properties. They're going to target properties that aren't seen or visited by the owner on a regular basis. Um, they're going to tell you that I'm either out of town or I live in another state. The real owner is out of town. Or no, yeah, the, 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 he's going to say as the owner, the fake owner, the fake owner. that I, am out of, I, I live out of town or I'm out of town or I live out of state, therefore I can't meet in person. Red so I, flag. So that's a red flag. Okay. So, so I want all of our transactions to take place uh, virtually. So it'll be phone or text or email. But I don't want I don't want to meet I don't want to meet in person. I want the transaction to close quickly. I'm I'm in a hurry, so let's make it a cash transaction. And in order to do so, I'll drop the price below market value. So I'm not going to meet you in person. Uh, I'm only only going to communicate through email, uh, text, or phone. Uh, I want to move quickly, so let's make it a cash transaction. Um, and I'll mark the price. I'll drop the price below market value in order to provide incentive to have a quick close. So those are some of the, I guess you would see red flags, uh, or the the way that they would want to set it up. So the consequences, obviously, the owner if if the transaction goes through, the owner doesn't get their money. The true owner, the people that were purchasing the property, don't get the property. The true owner of the property, their their title is now clouded because there's an issue with the title, so they're going to have to clear that up before they're able to sell it. The title company, it, they're going to realize full losses on their owner's title and loan policy coverage, so they've got an issue. Um, the listing agent won't be paid. There's a good chance the listing agent is going to be accused of, of, of fraud because they've been part of that. Um, they're going to a good chance that they'll be sued for fraud. Uh, and there's a chance that they're going to lose or lose their license or at least have it suspended. So those are the consequences of 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 that situation. So none of that is good. None of that is good. <laughs> none of that is good. So so what can be done? What do we do? Well, first of all, you meet in person, or at minimum a Zoom call. Uh, you know, second, ask for an ID to confirm the seller. So get some information, some sort of an ID to confirm that they truly are are the seller confirm through mail that this transaction is going to take place. So find every address that you can, that's related to the property at any level and send all those addresses, a letter confirming the transaction. At some point you've got a better chance of actually reaching the, the true owner and they'll raise their hand saying, this is not me. Do your best to contact that true property owner and then ask questions that only the true property owner would know. So the, the, the fraudster, the bad actor, is not going to know those answers. Um, so the red flags is they refuse to meet in person. Um, they want to handle everything remotely. Um, you know, I'm out of state. Quickly, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm out of state. Guy, I'm a busy guy. I'm yeah. out of state. Right. I don't live here anymore. Uh, they don't live at the property. You know, they're not willing to give you their ID. They want it to be a cash transaction. Um, you know, they're pushing something to be done quickly. You know, those are just some of the, you know, they want to use their own notary is another one. So those are some of the things that, that can be, so, so be right flag. So if that does happen, whether you recognize it up front or throughout the process, hopefully before there's a close, but if that does happen, there's some things that, uh, that we ought to take, some action, some steps that we ought to take. The first and foremost 
is stop communicating with the bad actor and stop working with them. So that's the first thing is stop that. If a title company is, you're far enough along in the transaction that a title company has been involved, notify the title company so they're aware of what that situation is. If you've put the property on MLS, pull it off of MLS and notify the local MLS office. File a police report. File an online complaint with the Internet Crime Compliance Center, which is run by the FBI, and that's IC3, the number three, IC, the numeral three, dot gov. So file a complaint with them and then notify the Secret Service. So Secret Service oversees these um, fraudulent property issues. So those are some of the steps that you can take as an individual if this were to come into play. Well, what's amazing is in, in terms of we talk about cybercrime and all that sorts of things here, that they're always thinking of ways they're creative, the criminals, the potential criminals, they're, they're being very creative to figure these things out. And I, and I want to get on one point that you said, because it applies to something I just did to ask for the person's ID. Just a side note. Now, I'm also thinking about this because we mentioned the roofing, which is a contracting business. I recently had windows put in my home. Well, when you have windows and you have 24 windows, it ends up being a lot of money. And they want the, some money up front yes. because they have to order the windows per the size. So my, my point is I gave the contractor what I would call a lot of money. And I didn't – until they came back to do the windows, I'm, I started thinking after I gave him that money, I'm thinking, hey, what if I never see this guy again? He, I got a good reference. But one thing I should have done as an afterthought that I will do again is I, I thought I should have got a picture of his driver's license just in case to have that – even though I had good references. But the point is, yeah, get ID when you're dealing with people with, with dollars and cents. I think that's important. Well, and, and on something like that, where you're, when you've got a construction aspect involved, it would also might be beneficial to get a copy of their general liability coverage. See, that's why we learn. I, I learn every, every show, John. But it, but it is true that, that, that unfortunately um, we've been seeing an increase in these fraudulent sellers because we had such a – rapid pace in the industry over the last few years, we were used to um, maybe streamlining processes and procedures. And we were used to dealing with people remotely. Uh, we were used to dealing with people maybe in a non-traditional manner. Uh, and I think that a lot of virtual site buying without seeing the property in person. Yeah. So a lot I, of things so I do believe these fraudulent sellers are taking advantage of that. And, and again, as you said, come in and here's a chance that we've got an opportunity. I've got a deal. It's going to be cash only. It's going to be quicker. They want to, they want to sell fast. This is exciting. And you get wrapped up in the opportunity versus stepping back and just doing your due diligence and using some common sense. Makes sense. John, what else should we know before we close the insurance segment? Well, if you'd like to be properly insured, whether that be as an individual for your home, wind, auto, flood, motorcycle, vacation property, vacate, vacant land, investment property, uh, we can help you out. If you're a real estate broker or realtor, property management firm, independent title and attorney agent, uh, lender, we can help with your business insurance. So general liability, uh, errors and emissions, uh, workers' compensation, commercial auto, commercial property, we can help with that as well. So you can reach us at 866-798-2827. That's 866-798-2827. You can learn more about Stewart Insurance at stewartinsurance.com or email us at stewartinsurance at stewart.com. And if someone is east of the Mississippi, what's the phone number? 866-798-2827. West? 866-798-2827. And there you are. You're covering the United States in a tremendous way. You and the team at Stewart Insurance. John, thanks for being with us. Always a pleasure, Bill. Rob Linder. Let's talk money again before we close the show. Rob Linder with Revolution Mortgage is back. Hey, Rob, it's been a while. How are you? Bill, I missed you. What's going on? Well, here we are. So let's tell people as, as we wind up the show, it's all, I, I don't know if we're winding it up, winding it down. I never know what to say. In the meantime, though, final word on money. What else should we know, Rob? You know, it's never a bad time to buy a home. You can always refinance later if you don't like the rate today. And just keep in mind that if you don't buy it, somebody else will. Rob Linder, L-I-N-D-E-R, Revolution Mortgage. I love the name Linder. You're the lender for, you're Rob Linder, the lender. Yeah, and you know why Something they call like me that. Rob, Bill? 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll steal your heart, big guy. All there right. you go. I love that. <laughs> Rob, what's the phone number again? 832-274-2640. I have a feeling if we talk more, there'd be more jokes. In the meantime, <laughs> let's welcome back Miriam Hajazi with Douglas Elliman. Miriam, how about that, Rob? He's something funny, he huh? He is something, isn't he? Well, but maybe he is not marvelous. So we're going to go with marvelous Miriam, and that's you, Miriam. Before we close things down, so here you are. A quick word: you mentioned outside of the real estate uh, as we were on the break. Outside of real estate, it sounds like you have some fascinating interests. One of them is antiquing. I grew up antiquing, and it is a passion of mine. I am an avid year-round antiquer and i go to every market in round top um is that a, love, like a big spot for it oh gosh round top texas it is the largest antique uh market i think in texas well let the uh, word go i forth. mean i didn't know you, that <laughs> one of the markets come is coming up in october so i'll be out there i'll be staying with actually some clients of mine that have property out there i, I stay with my clients when i'm in round top and we just we we piddle around and we look at all the things and we compare prices and, you know, we like this or that. Should we sell what we got? Should we buy this? You know, um, See, it all works out with real estate, the <laughs> antiquing thing that, a yes. quick word, you know, by the way, a, a little trivia I heard, I don't know, Billy Bob Thornton, he has, uh, whatever they call the different fears that we have, fear of heights, fear of, he has a unique fear, a fear of antiques, believe it or not. Check it. I have never heard of I, such a thing. It is a I. complete foreign concept to me. I wouldn't I would know. Think, yeah. So you and Billy Bob would never <laughs> work out. No, no, just no. Just saying. No. Well, Marion, let's tell people what else you want them to know about real estate. Well, uh, to echo our lender, you know, if you need to buy or if you need to sell, then we need to help you buy or sell. Some people have to move for jobs. Some people are having babies. Some people are taking care of elderly parents or grandparents. So if you need to buy or sell, then let's figure out what's right for you in that particular market. And you can help them, Miriam Hajazi. Let's tell people, Miriam, your phone number. How can they reach you? 832-465-6458. 832-465-6458. Thank you for being with us. Well, thank you. Well, one more thing as we close the show. We have Clarissa Mendez, and this is a show first because she just had a baby. His name is Kaysen, and he is here with us. He's sleeping right now, so we're not going to talk too loud. But, Clarissa, you're back in action yes. as a business development officer for Stewart. Let's tell people yes, quickly your office. Pearland. I'm at the Pearland office. Um, we service most of Brazoria County, well, all of Brazoria County, but we're in the east end side, east south end side of Texas. Um, I live in Alvin, which we also service at Pearland. Um, and my number is 346-479-5387. 346-479-5387. And what's interesting here, you brought Case. This is the first time we had a baby on the show or in the studios. He's our mascot. He seems our store like he, title mascot. He seems like he's enjoying it, isn't he? He loves it, yes. There you go. Well, thank you so much for being here. We love surprises here on the show. And thank you all for listening to Real Estate Matters with Stuart Title. I am your host. And by the way, welcome Jana McGuire. Once again, a double welcome. She's here at the show. We're going to have some other Stuart Title new people coming on that have just joined the team in later shows. But in, again, I am Bill Nampick, your host, together with John Bramlett. All of us at Stuart Title, Stuart Insurance. Yes, our birthday's coming up in October, 130 years. We're here to help you. Whether you're right here in the Houston area, just go to stuart.com. Check out your closest office. Stay close to your Stuart Title business development officer. Or if you're in another state, no problem. We are an international company traded on the New York Stock Exchange's STC. And thank you for listening. And go to Stuart dot com forward slash radio that's right you can see the baby you can see all the things that are going on here in the studio simply by going to stewart.com forward slash radio thanks for listening we'll see you next week